Okay guys, so for this project we'll be using 5.5 millimeter knitting needles, circular, 16 inches. The first thing we're going to do is cast on 120 stitches. Okay guys, so after we finish casting on 120 stitches, we need to make sure that they are all straight, like this, and then we can continue to knit in a circle. So knit two. Purl two. Knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, And we will continue to do that for the next 10 rows. After we finish 10 rows of 2 knit 2 purl, I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so after we finish 10 rows of 2 knit 2 purls, we will knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one, yarn over, purl one, Knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one, yarn over, purl one. So we are doing that because we are trying to increase the amount of stitches. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl one, yarn over, purl one. Continue doing this for the entire row, and then I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so on the next row, we will knit three. Purl three. Knit three. Purl three. Knit three, purl three, knit three, purl three, and we will do that for the entire row, and then I will show you what to do next. Okay guys, so on the next row we'll take the third stitch and move it over the first two. Knit one, yarn over, knit one. Purl three. Take the third knit stitch, move it over the first two. Knit one, yarn over, knit one. Purl three. Take the third knit stitch, move it over the first two. Knit one, yarn over, knit one. Purl three. Take the third knit stitch, move it over the first two. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl three, take the third knit stitch, 
move it over the first two knit one yarn over knit one purl three continue to do that for the entire row and then I will show you what to do next okay guys so on the next row we will knit three Purl three, knit three, purl three, knit three, purl three. Knit three, purl three, and we will do that for three rows, and then I will show you what to do next. After we finish three rows of three knit three purl, we will grab the third knit stitch, move it over the first two, knit one, yarn over, knit one. Purl three, grab the third knit stitch, move it over the first two, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl three, grab the third knit stitch, move it over the first two, knit one, yarn over, knit one, Purl three. Continue to repeat the last four rows from now on, and I will check back with you later. Okay, guys, so when you get to this point and you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're in the eighth eyelet stitch, it's time to start decreasing. So knit three. Purl two together, purl one, knit three, purl two together, purl one, knit three, purl two together, purl one, knit three. Purl two together, purl one. Continue doing that for the entire row, and then I will show you what to do next. Okay, guys, on the next row, we will knit three, purl two, knit three, purl two. Knit three, purl two, knit three, purl two, and we will do that for the entire row, and then I will show you what to do next. Okay, guys, on the next row, you need to grab the third stitch and move it over the first two knit stitches. Knit two. Purl two again, grab the third knit stitch, move it over the first two, knit two, purl two, grab the third knit stitch, move it over the first two, knit two, purl two. Continue doing that for the entire row, and I will show you what to do next. Okay, guys, now we will knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit 
knit two, purl two for nine rows, and then I will show you what to do next. Okay, guys, on the next row, you need to finish off your work. So knit one, then knit this one that you just knitted and the one next to it together then knit the first one and the second one together knit the first 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 and the second one together and this is how it should look like continue doing that for the entire row and then I'll show you what to do next When you are left with one stitch, go into the first one, put your needles through it, yarn over, pull it through, and then pull it through the last stitch, like this. Expand your last stitch, and put your work through it. Pull the yarn cut it and lose the ends. Fold the ribbed part in the bottom and at the top. This is how the finished project looks like. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe.